So I've got my DSL modem here. It was blocking some devices from connecting to the internet. So I called up my internet service provider and they told me what I need to do is bridge my modem to my router to allow the router to take care of the IP addresses. And they walked me through it step by step. And what I'm going to do now is go through the, the steps that they told me. The first thing they told me to do was go ahead and unplug my router and plug this Ethernet cable in. That's going to go directly to my laptop. And then here you can see my laptop is directly connected in with that Ethernet cable. Then the next thing they had me do was open up uh, my internet browser and type in 192.168.254.254 and then hit enter. Then the next thing is it asks for a new username and password for your modem. And unless you've changed it, the default is admin, A-D-M-I-N in lowercase and then the password is also admin, A-D-M-I-N in lowercase and click OK here and then on this next screen they told me to click setup and go down here to WAN interface and click on that then click on OEBRG and click on RFC 2684 bridged and hit finish. This screen here comes up and it says a reboot is required before the new configuration takes effect so I'm just going to click on reboot and it says your settings have been saved and I'll just click on reboot here and it says I have to wait 45 seconds now so I waited and this is what came up. I, I clicked over here on home again and uh, says this link here is up so that's encouraging. So now that I got my modem set up I unplugged that blue ethernet cable that was going to my laptop and I plugged in this yellow ethernet cable that runs over here and it goes to the input on my router and then I hooked this blue ethernet cable that goes to my laptop. I just plugged it into one of the out port ports on the router. And we're going to set up this router now. Now to log into my router, they had me type in 192.168.1.1 and hit enter. Now it wants my username and password and the default might be admin and admin for this too but I have my own setup so I'm going to type in my own username and password that I that I set up and enter that then this warning comes up from Cisco I'm just going to go ahead and click do not show me this message again and click OK here and that brings us to this screen here and we go click on setup basic setup and from this drop down table select PPOE and then this username and password here um, that's your username from your internet service provider that they gave you and then the password is the password that that comes from the internet service provider so that this router can log on to your internet After I entered my username and password from my internet service provider, they had me go down here and just save changes. And then it comes to a screen where it says the settings have been saved. And I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And then it brings up this screen here. I'm going to go over here to status and click on that. And it brings up this screen here. It says connection type PPOE and login status is connected. So I guess that's a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and try and open up a website now just to see if it works.
so it looks like my internet is working on the laptop. And the reason I did all this bridging is because I couldn't get my magic jack to connect to the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and see if that's working now. And it sounds like we got a dial tone, so looks like everything's working good.